Now, millions of people in the U.S. are starting the new year with a pay raise. Hourly minimum wages in 23 states will rise as part of previously scheduled efforts to reach $15 an hour or to account for cost of living changes. The increases will affect nearly eight and a half million workers. The federal minimum wage $7.25 per hour hasn't changed since 2009. This video is brought to you by Birch Go. Brought to you by Birch Go. Are you or are the Biden administration's New Year's goals of taxes and spending and turning a blind eye to inflation at odds with your goals of securing your savings? When you finally had enough of the games that the government is playing with your savings and retirement, diversify into gold with Birch Gold. For over 5,000 years, gold has withstood inflation, geopolitical turmoil, and stock market crashes. And here's the great news. You can still get it. In fact, you can own gold and silver in a tax-sheltered retirement account. Birch Gold makes it easy to convert your IRA or 401k into an IRA in precious metals. Here's what you need to do. Text BRANDON to 989898 to claim your free information kit on gold and then talk to one of their precious metal specialists. They will hold your hand through the whole process. You don't have to be the expert. They got you covered. Protect yourself with gold today by texting Brandon to 989898 with the A plus rating with the Better Bidders Bureau and thousands of happy customers and countless five star reviews. Trust Burst Gold to help protect your savings. Text Brandon, me, Brandon, to 989898 today. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so get notific notification anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment this video. Share this video. Try to do it fast. Let's get into this. Yo. Hey, great show tonight. Yeah, welcome to the show. Thanks, man. Hey, you know, one of the biggest advantages of this, uh, minimum wage was never meant for anybody to make a living on. However, the reason the federal government and the state governments have pushed this is because would you rather have 30% of $15 an hour or would you rather have 30% of $7 an hour? Mm. All this has done for everybody else is make a Big Mac meal $11 instead of $7 like it was three years ago. Amen. That's what it's done. It's just increased the coffers for the government. Bill, my God, thank you so much for the call. But God, you hit the nail on the doggone head. I, 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 you know, I, 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 label, I think I'm pretty smart. But Bill, you just you just said something I didn't think about. That's exactly what they're doing. I hope everybody listening heard what Bill from Grand Prairie just said. Would you rather have X amount of taxes from this wage or the next wage? It is a way to gouge me. It just changed my life. That is my new argument. Because I, you know, I just skipped over that thought process because. I, I would argue, you know, a part of the feminist movement and women's suffrage was that the government can get instead of 50 percent of the population that they're taxed, they text 100 percent of the population. And I heard a guy say that and I said, oh, my God, that was brilliant. That's what the suffrage is about. They ain't care nothing about no women's rights. They just wanted women to get in the workforce so they can take more money out, out that check for taxes. And so you can get in the workforce and put your kids in the government school so they can get indoctrinated. That's what they did. That's what was women's rights and women's suffrage. That's what they did. And, and now I see it. The government wants to raise it and raise it and raise it and raise it so they can get more and more tax revenue. That is because, and Bill was right, because it ain't going to help the consumer. I, I think consumers, you know, it's, fun, it's funny to me <coughs> that a person who is a consumer and that works on a job, they go, I want minimum wage. We don't get a livable wage. Okay, let's pay you $5 more an hour. See, yay, this is what we've been fighting for. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. They pay you $5 more an hour, and you go buy groceries that cost you $10 more than it used to. So you ain't made no money. <laughs> it, 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 Bill said it, they just made more taxes. Because think about this. Oh, my God. That blew my mind. I got to find out who this guy is. I want to send him a signed copy of my book. Because now I think about it is if they raise minimum wage, you pay more taxes. The companies raise the price of goods 
then you pay more sales tax. Because now items cost more and it's more percentage of tax or, or the same percentage off of a more higher dollar amount. It's it, Listen, y'all, it's increments. They don't hit you over the head with a big chunk. It's, it's little the little foxes that end up tearing you apart. Call of the year. We got from Phil from Grand Prairie, Bill from Grand Prairie, caller of the year. I need to put him on a board. That just opened my eyes to that. That's what they doing. Them dirty son of a guns. It's like it's the same thing with taxes. They tax you 400 different ways. If you die, you got to pay a tax. When you born, you got to pay tax. I mean, you got to pay tax on your birth. You think that binnacle bill is going to be without tax? They're taxing you everywhere. You know, and then you make money. They tax you. Child support, they tax you. You know, I mean, you, you go down the list. They tax you on five or six different ways. And I know that this doesn't, it may not be equated properly. However, I think this is like a reality. Is you just say you you make money, you know, like a, a your employer pays you money. That employer created a sale that generated revenue that will be taxed. And then they pay you you are taxed. And then if you go and take that taxed money to buy something from another business, you got to pay tax on what you already were taxed on that you bought, you know, end up buying something for this tax. And then the person that received that money that was already taxed and that you had to pay tax to buy, they get taxed on that as revenue. I mean, they tax in the, out of everybody. Payroll tax. Like it's a business owner. I got to pay payroll tax. And then I have to pay corporate tax. And, and because my business is set up as an S corp, I only pay tax one time. But if it was a corporation, one me would have would have to pay taxes on behalf of the company, which is corporate tax. And then I would have to pay myself a salary and I'll have to get paid on my salary or you know, I have to pay taxes on my own salary. So I'll get I own the company. I will get taxed twice because I will get taxed from the company and get taxed as an individual who make money from the company. That's, that's, that's how the government does you. And, and the way I set my business up is kind of like a pass-through as an S-corp. So I only get taxed one time because everything is taxable income or not taxable income, right? So everything on my business is business, and then there's a taxable income number, and I have to pay taxes on that one number. So just say it was $10 million, I would have to pay taxes on $10 million one time. But, you know, if you make it $10 million on a corporation, you probably have a corporation and not an S-corp. But, I mean, the government just hits you, man, from every direction. Everything is a tax. City tax, state tax, federal tax. It's like I get taxed right here in the city of Scottsdale. I'm like, how am I paying Scottsdale got a tax? Maricopa has a tax. So... I'm getting taxed. I'm getting taxed from the state of Arizona, from the county of Maricopa, and from the city of Scottsdale. Can you like I gotta pay like when you buy something, you get all three of those taxes. Bruh. Bruh. I go register my car. Taxes. Like, wait a minute. You taxing me. You know, it, it, you know, every I I know I'm I know I'm being redundant, but it's blowing my mind how, how much the government is just screwing us and we too, and we looking at football. We looking at Kardashians. And they taking advantage of us without our permission. Hold the phone, I'll be back after the break.